Welcome back inside Sirius Futsal Arena. Fitzroy Melbourne Aku could be the blockbuster of the night. Michael Chavello, Han Tran with you. Fitzroy in the familiar yellow. Aku in the green. No just out for Melbourne Aku tonight. The guy very vocal at the moment. Lizier venturing well of her goal and taking a plonk herself. There's Miller Best. Wonderful. What a start here from Fitzroy. Miller Best nails it 1-0. Oh, Fitzroy, it was a bit of a shaky star, but once they are in front of goal and sure that players like Miller Best, she was really had a score last week, but this time around she got the opener, so that confidence will build. And she'd also score goals as well, so an all-time pack. Oh, Gina Bennett, an absolute screamer! One all! Commentator's curse right there. Let's talk about the keeper, but on the <laughs> other end, Jaina Bennett, she scored four last week. She has scored the first one for Aki tonight in the back post position. No one tagging her whatsoever, and she just had to nail that one too. Pumps it right into second. The guy goes open. Lizette does wonderfully. Used her head on that occasion. The guy top of the D. She'll get the shot off, and Lizette blocks it with her shins. Finny knobs. Half the moss at her heels. Chance for Kotsabas! How did that not go in? Just a little too much on it again for Kearney to chase. Leisha Rowan's backhander! Wonderful! It's a Liz Air specialty. Finds the tall player deep in the D. This time it's Alicia Rowan. And it's 2-1 Fitzroy. Can I have that, please? That specialty of what Liz Air brings to the game because that pass is so lethal, unstoppable, and Alicia Rowan using her height to her advantage. Just getting that. Only a few seconds to go to the half. Fitzroy leading 3-1 here. It's been a wonderful, entertaining game. Long throw from Yee. And at halftime, we'll take a break. 3-1, Fitzroy over Melbourne Arcu. Here's Alicia Rowan. Keeps the ball in play, Bealey. Still in play here. Zali Vandenberg fighting for it. And now it's going to be a Melbourne Arcu ball. There's a bit of tension there from Zali and I believe Alicia Rowan just between the two, just heckling at each other throughout the game. And a red card has been given to Zali. Wow. Zali Vandenberg is out of here. That's a big blow for Melbourne Arcu. Yeah, that they've, got, they've got to maintain their composure and ensure that they don't make any mistakes from here on then. Alicia Rowan! It's 4-1! Three goal buffer now for Fitzroy. They capitalised on Aku being depleted with Izali Vandenberg sending off. Big physical imposing target as Han said. She presents a real goal scoring opportunist and so does this woman. Niv Kearney scores for Melbourne Aku. It's 4-2. They are not waving any white flag. It takes so much effort to beat Liz out, but finally Nip Kearney's the one that does it. Lovely. Exquisite. Beautiful. Carla D'Alessandro nails it. 4-3. Game on. It's absolutely game on. The heart is beating back here for Melbourne IQ. They've allowed a bit more opportunity and space, especially from Neve Kearney. So she scored the last one and now she's assisted in this one. And Carla D'Alessandro, she had to strike that ball pin perfect. Mila Best. Nagai did well. Oh, Nagai does wonderfully. Katsabas is in. Nagai's in. Now she finds it. Second to guy. Equalizes for Melbourne IQ for all. A wonderful goal. My goodness. Just when I said she couldn't find the net we needed, she does. Melbourne IQ, I was, I was just talking about in the break too, she has not scored in, in big games like this. Melbourne IQ, they're getting closer and closer to goal. This is a wonderful window for Melbourne. Here's Evangelia Parthamos back on the court. Nagai, is she in for another? She is! Second the guy, now it's another one, and puts Aku ahead. She has stepped up. When I'm talking about when she works under pressure, two back-to-back -back goals that means the most to Melbourne IQ in the prime moment where the game is now turned around. VR check on something. We'll take a break and be right back. Some controversy.
So VR check was called. It was not given. Are we going to penalties? We're 80 seconds away from it. Yee. Stolen by Berry. Big Berry. A hero emerges. And her name is Rebecca Berry. Is that the game winner? 5-4. Could be the game, and she saw that from a mile away. She saw her running, her lights lit up, and just went, I have to go for it. This is the big moment. This is one of the best games we have seen Rebecca Berry play in serious football this season. She's just stepped up to the plate, very aggressive on the ball, and that goal was just what Fitzroy needed. In Parthamos is free, finds Evangelia, shoots and goes wide. That may have been the last chance for Melbourne Aku. The whistle about to sound to end what has been a wonderful game, full of thrills and spills and drama. But at the end, it is Fitzroy 5, Melbourne Aku 4.